I've always been, you know, a federal opposition when I was in the parliament, and we have always been opposing the, the government of the day. Uh, not opposing for opposing sake lah. It is more in in light of you know the check and balance that is required of a vibrant democracy, and I always believe this. Now that I'm on this side, it's really very exciting time for me. It's for for the first time ever that we will have a chance to realize our vision, our aspiration, you know, our idealism uh, of what it really takes to run a government. And I, for one, will ensure that you know uh, we will be there. Will it will be a really viable uh, and, and vibrant uh, democracy because that is the way forward for the nation. And you have the government of the day be checked and balanced by the entire citizenry, not just partisan parties like opposition parties, but as well the civil society organizations and even individuals. But uh, this is the way I believe we'll see a new Malaysia, we'll see a vibrant Malaysia, and it will be really one that we cherish to share the nation for. And the Ministry of Health is one that really uh, touches on a certain, I call it as the real index of happiness of the nation, where health and real state of the welfare of the people will be a certain by way of provision of health care and, um, and how it will be delivered to them. Uh, Puri Sihat is part of our 10 promises for 100 days and there's no two way about it. You know, there's no backpacking, you know, uh, meaning we would go forward with it. But I will be very realistic uh, to en uh, and, and practical to ensure that uh, Skin Puri Sihat uh, would finally see the light of the day. Uh, at least within 100 days, we hope to uh, embark and launch it, uh, soft launch or whatever. And of course, later on, try to implement it as efficiently and effectively as possible. I have had uh, one or two rounds, or at least twice, uh, discussion with, the, with the, the Health Financing Division of the MOH. Not only I think, but they as well thought that this, uh, this scheme would be plausible, very doable uh, uh, to be implemented. Uh, but exactly how it is, by way of mechanism, by way of the funding aspect, the financing aspect, uh, that is to be seen. And hopefully I could uh, launch this, or at least present a nota cabinet first, and then a full cabinet paper for the attention of the cabinet. Uh, that is the, the propriety of, of MOH. I've come to understand it. I, I quite like the idea. And uh, I think uh, I would want to be uh, someone who would uh, enhance uh, the discussion on this, the implementation of this. Yeah. By way of concept, I think it's, it's, it's very, very effective. Uh, we are not committed to VHI. I mean, we are not obliged to VHI. We will visit VHI, okay? We will, you know, uh, uh, VHI is already there before I come. I will revisit this, I will, you know, subject it to a brainstorming session among my think tankers, you know, and uh, finally, uh, we could very well uh, present an alternative one, a uh, hybrid one or whatever, but uh, we are committed to having something like this. Uh, not by way of brand or name, but that concept. Uh, there is no overnight or instant, instantaneous solution to this, you know. Uh, you understand very well uh, why, there, why there, there is this perennial problem, unending woes, and, come, and, and compounded by whatever lah. Uh, not uh, by the kind of, not uh, much being desired kind of welfare of junior doctors. Uh, but, uh, but all these uh, are, are, are consequential to essentially, you know, the lack of uh, hospital. We are admittedly in deficit of 16,000 bed and that would take a bit more time. But we have got nine hospitals in the pipeline, you know, to be built and at various stages. We have to address this more creatively and the thinking along this, uh, we, we can have a number of solutions. You know, once upon a time, housemanship was only for one year. PAP is not 24 months, PAP you can reduce it to 18 months. You know, there's six core uh, skills that can be clustered. We have got 5,000 more or less graduate a year, both overseas and local. And that's, uh, admittedly, we have too many medical schools 
We have 32 medical schools, I think, or 30 medical schools for, for 31 million population. And it's one to one, one million to one hospital, one hospital to one million population. And that is way, way above even many, many countries, lah. Australia, Indonesia, lagi lah. I'm not giving any, any solution to it yet. You got to really diagnose, you cannot prescribe before you have good diagnosis, comprehensive diagnosis. So, okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, we hope that we can address this issue of housemanship training uh, more concretely soonest.